Hey, this is Maddie B, and you're watching PhilippineHughes.com. All of you very much for being here this afternoon. And the purpose of, this, of us being out here is to voice our opposition to the San Luis Obispo Rail Spur Expansion Project. I'm joined by Supervisor Ken Yeager and Santa Clara um, County Fire Chief, Chief Ken Kemna. The rail spur would expand the Phillips 66 refinery in a manner that would allow them to unload trains carrying heavy crude. And I'm not talking about a few trains a year, but five trains a week that could have 80 um, cars with oil in each train for a total of 250 trains every year. Each of these uh, trains would be allowed to carry approximately 2 million gallons of potentially flammable crude through our community. This Southern California project would directly impact the citizens of Santa Clara County and folks across California. If the refinery is allowed to expand its facility to provide uploading um, space for oil trains carrying heavy crude, the door will be open for oil companies across the United States and in Canada to send full trains of dangerous crude oil into the state of California. Now, one of the California train routes runs roughly 40, runs through roughly 40 miles of our county, including um, portions of unincorporated Santa Clara County, Milpitas, downtown San Jose, Morgan Hill, and Gilroy. The oil trains would have the option of using the Caltrain line from San Francisco into downtown San Jose. This poses an unacceptable risk to our um, community. Because of this, Supervisor Yeager and I co-authored a referral to oppose this project and to make our voices known um, in San Luis Obispo County. And tomorrow our colleagues will have an opportunity to join us in a vote to stop this harmful project. First, I'd like to turn to Supervisor Yeager to say a few words. Thank you, Supervisor Chavez. Uh, we are standing today at uh, the site of a trail derailment that just a few months ago if you're wondering why it is that we picked this site. But fortunately for the neighbors uh, in this area, the train car was empty. However, it is proof that derailments do happen in Santa Clara County. This is not a hypothetical for us. This is something that really could happen. And this particular derailment happened right in front of the apartment buildings here. Again, it was here in San Jose. We already have had a trail derailment. If the car had been full of crude oil, the likelihood of an explosion would have been very high and could have resulted in the deaths of the residents in this complex right here and the complexes of the two others around the corner. Let me just give you a few disturbing facts about the damage other derailments have caused and could have happened here as well had the train been full of crude oil. Federal data shows that more oil was spilled from trains in 2013 than in the previous 38 years combined. So even though there's a lot of talk about these trains being safer, we're finding that there are many more accidents than we've ever had before. And the United States Department of Transportation has projected that trains carrying crude oil would derail an average of 10 times a year and cause more than $4 billion in damages. And this is the U.S. State Department of Transportation that is saying that. That isn't uh, Santa Clara County. In urban areas like San Jose, the Department of Transportation estimate, estimate that increases to close to $6 billion in damages and the death of more than 200 people. Looking at all of the apartment units uh, on the three corners of this area of the tract, we would be lucky if only 200 people were affected by an oil train derailment right here, right at this spot. If you take away the potential loss of life due to a uh, derailment uh, in your thoughts about safety, you are still left with the fact that these trains could also contaminate our air quality, contaminate our soil quality as they pass by agricultural land and potentially devastate our limited water supply. To talk more about the concerns of safety of Santa Clara County in uh, is our County Fire Chief, Ken Kemner. Chief. Thank you, Supervisor Yeager. Uh, I'm also joined today by uh, Fire Chief Eric Nickel, 
uh, fire chief from the city of Palo Alto and president of the Santa Clara County Fire Chiefs Association. Uh, in 1864, when the rail line first came to Santa Clara County, the residents of this county were so excited, they not only celebrated the arrival of the train, they declared it a holiday. Since that time, the firefighters that serve this area have been committed to providing for the safety of the community and responding to rail disasters that may have occurred. This rail spur project can and it does demonstrate a threat to the residents of Santa Clara County. The residents of this county have a right to be worried about this. This year alone, five significant train derailments have occurred in the United States, spilling hundreds of thousands of gallons of crude oil, contaminating the groundwater, contaminating the soil, and causing fires. There is concern that these disasters could happen here. One case many of you are already probably aware of is the incident that occurred in Quebec, Canada. Um, this, occurred, this derailment took place. Um, it was a 72 car derailment. It set off a series of massive explosions and killed 47 people, spilled over one and a half million gallons of crude oil. The cost of the recovery is in excess of two and a half billion dollars. Now as a fire chief in Santa Clara County, I'm proud to be a fire chief here because I know that I'm surrounded by some of the best trained, most capable firefighters anywhere. That being said, even the best men and women of the fire service here in Santa Clara County aren't going to necessarily be able to stop uh, a catastrophic event from occurring. Even though the rail industry has experienced unavoidable, serious hazards, they continue to fight to be exempt from the kinds of requirements to provide information necessary to properly mitigate the hazard. Things like the schedule of when the trains may be coming through, the contents of the trains. The Santa Clara County Fire Chiefs Association realizes that without more information the rail industry, uh, from the rail industry, no one can properly mitigate these hazards. We penned a letter to, the San, to San Luis Obispo County asking that as trains do come through California, that the Oil Rail Corporation provide us fire agencies with additional information, training, and equipment. The cost to provide for the additional safety of the residents of this county should not be borne by the taxpayers alone. Until Phillips and the rail industry are ready to provide the necessary information, ongoing training, and equipment to keep our county safe, we oppose the Phillips plan to facilitate the trains coming through our county. Supervisor Yeager. Or not at all. And I want to thank Chief Kemna and Chief Nichols for being here. I think this just underscores how very important this issue is. And, and it underscores one other important point. You know, 100 years ago, rail lines were going through prairies. Now they're going through communities where people live, work, play, and worship. And this area, along with many others across the state of California, will be in grave danger if this, go, if this proposal goes through. So tomorrow, just as a reminder, um, we're going to be uh, taking a, a vote. We hope to oppose this um, alignment and to let the county supervisors in San Luis Obispo County know of our concerns. And even though it's one county making a decision, it really is a decision that puts the entire state at risk. I want to close by thanking our first responders. They really are um, going to be our first uh, you know, great line of defense, but we shouldn't need to be defended from something this dangerous in our community. So thank you all very much for being here. Um, we're happy to do one-on-ones before the noise begins again. Uh, thank you.